Welcome back, everybody, to Rift once again. We are here at Shimmer Sand at Fortune Shore, the zone city for this area, so we're going to be taking a bit of time here. <clears throat> uh, there are some quests laying about, so let's go ahead and grab those. Can you hear it? That incessant screeching from the harpies on the rocks above us. Every few days, a sailor will go missing below those cliffs. Something has got to be done. I'm only a simple fishmonger myself, but if you could take my torch and destroy the harpy nest, I could pay you for your trouble. Journey west. Probably do that, why not? And I think there was another one off this way, wasn't there? Or am I crazy? <laughs> oh. Well, I don't want to hang around the, uh... I don't want to hang around the Defiant spot there. That's not going to go well for us. <clears throat> Here my plea ascended. It's a tough job to keep this city running smoothly, but the recent issues along the roads have made things more difficult than usual. Sadly, what Cosgrove told you is true. Fortune Shore is the largest free market for Sourcestone in Talaria, but the amount of Sourcestone trade each day has been pitiful of late. Sourcestone keeps this town alive. Without it, we have no future. Over the past several weeks, the amount of merchandise coming to the Fortune Shore has diminished significantly. We have no reports that trade as a whole has slowed. Something is preventing caravans from getting to the city with all their goods. If at all. Sorsto especially seems to be disappearing, as well as food and weapons. It's as if somewhere out in the desert there's an army preparing to strike. Go with this you do me on. A large shipment of Sorstone from the east came up missing off the cargo boat last week. It's all I can do to keep the local traders from riding over the loss of merchandise until we can find the missing goods. The boat was delayed as it rounded Cutthroat Cove. I have my suspicions that's where you'll find the missing crates. Is this your first time here in Fortune Shore? Well, allow me to be the welcoming community. I don't suppose you'd like a job. I have a few tasks I need taken care of, and Tezua is bogged down with other things right now. You'd be compensated for your time, of course. Alright. May your way be clear. Be it known that we, the United Traders and Merchants of Tularia, have formed an organization here after referred to as the Merchant Alliance. Merchant Alliance will serve as the voice for all merchants and traders throughout the world that feel they have no fair representation in the region of operation. Due to the booming source zone market of the region, the Merchant Alliance has chosen Fortune Shore as the base of operation. This letter is to inform Overseer Kazim Awan that I will arrive in this city within a week's time to take up my post as the representative for the Merchant Alliance in Sumersan. I hope that he and I can become partners in making Fortune Shore an even more welcoming place for traders and travelers alike. With regards, Winston of Scarwood, Merchant Alliance. Yeah, so we got some people from Scarwood here, huh? <clears throat> good fortune. Kazim is a good man, but he's been taxing us more and more in recent months. The Merchant Alliance not put up with this for long. Time for the monthly collection again, eh? You're a brave man to have taken up this job, friend. Doesn't exactly make you the most popular person in Fortune Shore. Fair enough, fair enough. Random street rat here. <laughs> My latest shipment of source has gone missing. I really don't need this right now. I have a business to run after all. Can't be serious, I paid my tariff for Kazim already earlier this month. Bah, fine, just take it and get out of my sight. <clears throat> we do have some strong mobs around here. <laughs> And stamp this crate. There we go. I greet you with open arms. I've heard the Storm Nature has been kidnapping traders on their way to Fortune Shore. I'm lucky to have gotten here safely. Oh yes, how could I forget? You know, for a city that claims to be a free state, I certainly have to pay a lot more, a lot of money to be able to operate here. By the power of the ancients. And we have a nice little tree here as well. That's always nice to see. It is still the Feiyu celebration for a few more days as I'm playing this. But by the time this gets up, it's probably going to be done with for sure. Great sun and ascended. There's a band of mercenaries who have made camp at Cutthroat Cove. Normally, this would not concern the Covenant, but I've heard that their legion leader was seen speaking to a Storm Legion cultist a few nights ago. The man is a traitor to Tularia, and he must be punished. 
Get a sense that your destiny may align with the Dragon Slayer Covenant, but whether for good or ill, I cannot tell. The Dragon Slayer Covenant is an ancient Tamarian order dedicated to the structure of the Dragon Cults and their planar masters. We devoted ourselves to the purpose since the time of the Bloodstorm, but our members were devastated during the Moth of the Instant Mathiosian Civil War and the battle against Prince Atraxius. I myself was along those who fought in that battle, and I saw the war torn apart by my own eyes by that madman. Now the covenant is but a shadow of its former glory, but our order will become great once more, LLU. Good luck. Just need more boxes at the moment. <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh... More shipment, yay! <laughs> Just need to find two more around. I'm sure I can find them around somewhere. Come on now, I shouldn't be able to have this much trouble. <clears throat> feel like I'm going to start coughing a bit more again. Ugh. Not what I want by any means. Oh, here's the one right behind this guy. Actually, I think that's just a suit of armor. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was a person. There definitely has to be still one more around somewhere. Where could it be? It has to be like around here somewhere, I would think. Ah, there it is. I'm not even getting close to them, they're just like clobbering me. Little fifties at that, sheesh. They should have been a little a little bit more like. <coughs> Inside the area, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it looks like an invasion tried to get through, I think. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a. Uh... Okay, this is a different building. I think this is the guardian spot. Glory and honor. Welcome to Fortune Shore, Alaview. There is much to be done here if the guardians wish to establish themselves in this town. Your reputation precedes you, Alaview. My informants tell me that your name is on the lips of every cultist in Shibersand, Gold Mall, and Storm Asian alike. Some might find that a risk, but I welcome it. Let them have their fear, and I let them know it's a guardian that brings it. Fortune Shore will be a key location for securing a steady source stone supply for the Guardians. This is a free city, and though they have nothing you could really call a government, they most certainly have their politics. It is important we make a good first impression. We will redeem Talara. Do not regret what we have lost. I have a terrible vision, all of you. I saw the mercenaries at Cutthroat Cove, but their minds were no longer their own. They wander the coast like empty shells of the men they once were, holding stolen source stone for someone else's dark purpose. Whoever did this to them, we must find out and discover a way to prevent it from happening elsewhere. Go forth and embrace your destiny. Okay, I've got like quest of plenty here. Uh, we do have one more here in town we can do, so let's go ahead and grab that first. Are you here to help? As far as I'm concerned, the Guardians can stay here as long as they like. My business has never been better, despite losing some of my merchandise to a cult attack last week. Fair enough, fair enough.
You do me honor. Fortune Shore is home to people of all walks of life. Do you think that peace is kept long without somebody stepping up and becoming an authority figure? That's why Kazim and his people are here. We're doing all we can to address the issue of lost shipments. Uh, I think the last one is up here. Or no? Okay. Good You've done me see. You've done me a huge favor here, just a car. Here's the payment that we discussed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my caravan schedules. Go with the speed of the wind. <clears throat> There's somebody above that I'm supposed to be talking to, but I don't see where they are. Over there? Okay. Life is difficult enough here in Fortune Shore, but now we have the store stone shipments going missing and cultists attacking caravans daily. It's almost too much to risk, to risk anymore. Alright, we can go ahead and go back to this guy then. We're already about a third of the way through our uh, bar here, experience bar, so that's pretty nice at least. The vigil relies on the courage of the ascended. You've done well, all of you. From your report, the for people of Fortress Shore show no overt hostility to the gardens or our cause. While most assistants are indifferent to our presence, some are seem happy that we we've come here. This could work out very well indeed. Search for signs of the vigil. They will show you the way. So it seems like I do need to uh, do these other four for the moment. Which most of them are heading, having me head to Cutthroat Cove. I think this Harpy one might not be, so we're going to go ahead and grab that one first, I think. Chop on our cat, why not? We have another quest out this way. Are you here to help? We've seen many great storms come and go over the decades, but something new is on the horizon. One such squall recently wrecked a ship on the whole British Shoals. Examine the wreckage for clues to see what threat has washed upon our shores. Best of luck. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be heading this way or if I'm supposed to be like. Okay, no, I think I am supposed to be heading the other way. Good to see you. The Kalvili people have long dwelt in these deserts, but only recently have we been pushed to the edges of society. Now thieves and brigands plunder our homeland for riches. Some of them wrecked on the shoals to the north. I bet one has a map to where they buried the loot. Best of luck. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to go there quite yet. I think I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go up this way first. <clears throat> With the extra speed I have now, I can really just kind of like... Okay. So we're reaching level 45 area now. Well, I think we've already been there, actually. Okay, I'm gonna go back to just single targeting again. These guys have a bit more health than I'd like. Let's get this roost. That's one out of the way. So I don't actually have to kill many of the harpies. I just have to get to the roost. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, it seems like I'm gonna have to fight some of them regardless, because they are hanging around the nests. Right, here comes another one. Seems like the world chat is doing pretty decently again. On Harpy. There we go. <clears throat> Any other ones close by? There's one, it looks like, doesn't have any near it. Well, never mind that. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit better damage. I will say that. Now that I have my buffs on. And here comes another one. <laughs> Cannot catch a break. Seems kind of like the case with the harpies, though, in general. Wow, they died both at the very same time. Doesn't happen very often. Yeah, I see another one off that way. <clears throat> I might get away with only having to kill one here. Kill the patent, I think. Pull this back over here. Oh, quest, okay. Well, shoot, okay. Anyways, let's take a look at this. This bracelet has the initials MH engraved into it. When you hold it, you could feel a strange wave of memories wash over you. My husband was a sailor, but the harpies came in the night. They took him from me. I tried to fight him, but they struck me down as well. Monsters must die for what they've done. Avenge me, all of you. Okay, so they want us to... I wish I'd found this earlier. <laughs> Yeah, come right on me, I don't care now. <clears throat> Gotta kill a dozen of you guys. I see some pavilions over that way. I'm pretty sure that's like an enemy fortress over there. If I remember correctly. Ooh. 
That's actually decent. I will take that. I'm pretty sure that's a direct upgrade. Yeah, yeah, it is. I will take that. Rarely do I ever get an item like that from an enemy. That's actually decent. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and start beating them up here. I really am surprised at myself sometimes how, like, just how difficult it is to actually kill me with multiple enemies. It's just so different from, like, the Hunter DPS type of job I had for my other character. Where I was, like, single picking things off because I was so afraid of uh, dying if another enemy jumped in. Alright, I just need one more at this point. Oh, there's one over there. Hi there. Yeah, sure, come on. I'll take another one. I think it would honestly take like four, at least four of them to actually like get me down to the point where I'd be on a timer with my health, maybe. Like with three at the moment, I am losing health, but it's not to a point where it's like dangerous. Maybe four, like five definitely, I would say. Alright, well that one's done at least. Okay, let's go ahead and try it, honestly. We're gonna have uh, four of them here. And yeah, I'm losing a little bit of health, but it's still not enough to really put me over the edge. Where I can't gain that health back fast enough. And both of those are done. Okay. We can go ahead and make our way back and get those sent back because I'm pretty sure the other area we're going to is completely different from the current one we're at. Actually, okay. I'm glad I didn't jump right off there because where we're supposed to go for this quest is apparently up here somewhere. At least I think so. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're actually helping me out. Helping me out here. <laughs> I don't know how much damage they're actually doing, though. I guess we'll see if that one on the right dies before this one on the left. If they're actually doing any damage or not. Oh, yep, okay, so they were doing some decent damage there. Greetings. 
I see you found my bracelet, Dwarf. My soul is now free to leave this place. For you, for, thanks to you, I have my revenge on the monsters who took my life and the life of my husband. Thank you for doing what I could not. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so Cutthroat Cove, I'm pretty sure, is right down there. Yeah, okay. Hello, friends. Okay, so these guys have mind leeches. That's a new one. <laughs> I'll take a mine leech. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, they're all ganging up on me. Help me out here. And we're halfway pretty much on the experience bar already, so we're definitely going to get a decent chunk of uh, stuff from all these quests. Mine leeches, thank you very much. I was hoping this is the guy I had to kill, but apparently not. He's in like that perfect spot you would think would be like a boss character. But... These guys do have a bit of uh, power to them, I will say that. Crates are not plentiful here. Shimmer Sand just does not have plentiful crates. Good for me. Take that mind leech, thank you very much. I'm honestly thinking I might, uh, after I'm done playing tonight, I might go for getting to level 47 off screen, maybe. I want to hit 45 first, but like, I feel like I need to have a jump in leveling for this area, which pretty much will mean I'm going to be leveled up potentially for still more by the time I get there, I think, but I kind of need to be like level 50 by the end of this zone. Either that or I'd have to basically split the zones and go to still more halfway through Shimmer Sand. And I generally don't like doing things that way, but...
Granted, the first expansion for this game really does like make you go back and forth between two different continents. And that was always kind of a not so fun thing to me. I really should find this Joe Vox person. Because I'm almost done with all the mercenaries I need to kill outright, so. Okay. They are off this way. Looks like they are up there a little bit. Granted, this isn't all a total waste because I still need to get the crates as well, so. This way somewhere. That's right, I don't have to get mine leeches anymore. Completely forgot. <laughs> oh good, the last box is right next to the guy I need to kill. So that works out very well for me. 46, wow, okay. We are leveling up fast here, apparently. Perfect. We are good to go. You can go back to Fortune Shore. They just ignore like the 20 people that are going to come after us. not too far away at least. Man, I love the Zone City. It's really, it honestly, is a really nice Zone City. Okay, we got some people all around here, basically, so. The gods have granted me sight without sight. 
You have returned to us safely, as I know you would. I will see to it that these vile creatures are burned and that a prayer to the vigil is said for the souls of those poor mercenaries. No one deserves to die that way. I don't know. None of these are good. Okay. Brother Jebialia has gone out to Glimmering Light, our outpost near Dead Man Gorge. I like you system there. The storm leech is causing a lot of trouble in Shibersan as of late, but I fear a greater threat is still on the horizon. May you live a thousand years. This guy has a quest, but he's not opening up for it yet. I have a task for an ascended. The Storm Leech is known for their affinity for mind control. I realize that's quite possible this man was under such effects. But trust me when I say there was no saving him. If the mind control was removable, he would have snapped out of it as soon as you attacked him. Whatever mess of methods they use on those men, they may as well have already been dead. May the road be clear. All right. Hello. It wouldn't have been enough to just kill the creatures. By burning the ro ro harpy roost, we could prevent a new generation of them from tormenting the city. Here's the payment we discussed. We will find the. I'm actually gaining less experience than I thought I was going to here. I knew it. You, kn you know those mercenaries used to be good, honest men. Sure, they kill you if there was a good price in it, but at least you know what to expect. The stealing nonsense is a new thing for them. I don't like it. It's bad for business. Glory and honor to you. All right. I figure it's probably a good idea to. Uh... Uh, let me see here. Actually. Uh. Hmm. Okay, they're all level 45s at least, so... I guess we could go over to the, the west and do that stuff over there. Whatever quest that is over there is just not opening up for me yet. It might be due to my low level, but I'm not sure. Let's hop on our little buddy here. Also, I need to mend. Ah, I see. Fare thee well. There we go. Now I feel better. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, I know. Obviously, we'd have to head over this way, anyways. We're actually blowing through this way faster than I figured we would, which is kind of funny, but. <clears throat> Hi there. But yeah, these people are on our level, so one of them's gonna have the map we need. This guy did not. Oh. 
None on that guy either, okay. Might be on that guy out there because he's different than the rest, but... We got the map. Nice. Still need to find the stuff we need. Wherever it is. Doesn't appear to be under the water. <clears throat> oh, it's just around everywhere. Okay. You know, they actually hide very little underneath the water, overall. Hi. I didn't realize this was going to be uh, enemies to fight. Okay, so I'm at to collect them one by one. That's a little annoying. It's gonna be one by one. Okay then. <coughs> Try and keep them away from the other guys because I don't need them anymore for anything. Okay, so we're about four bars away from uh or four segments of the bar away from leveling up. So it's not as bad as I thought it would be, at least. Grab this one while we can. Somebody just snuck around to fight me. <laughs> I may be able to just take off though and lose them. Okay, sure. Oh, you're a butcher, okay. different guy. Alrighty then. He actually does have some damage to him, because he's... 
doing some hits there. Sheesh. Nice little air rift over there. I'm wondering if that's... I think that's a minor one, actually. It doesn't... I don't think that's a major one. Uh, okay. Sure. Maybe that butcher is actually, uh... That butcher might actually be a special NPC. I'm now noticing that none of the other ones are called Butcher. So I might have to kill him later on. I'm not sure. Might be part of the map uh, quest line type of thing. Six of ten so far at this. This is taking forever. Like, these are definitely not my favorite type of quests where I have to sit here and just do one enemy at a time. How did it take you that long to aggro, smuggler? That was a bit odd, I'm not gonna lie. Three more. I don't think there's any over that way, unfortunately. We're probably going to end up just going back to ones we've been to already. I'm pretty sure we did this one before, but... Oh, come on, man. At least I got the thing off before you came around. He was way far away for him to be aggroing on me like that. Two more to go. This one's safely tucked away back here. Oh wait, there are more than just one busher. Okay, never mind then. It's not a unique NPC. find one more I can safely get, or at least trigger, and then I'll be happy. Perfect, okay, we got it. We 
got it, ladies and gentlemen. The final Tempest. Perfect, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can't use, like, no more mounts for swimming like I can later on in the game. I wonder if they're gonna make me do a quest that to kill all the snappers on the shoals. Certainly a possibility. Wow, that's a pretty nice deep off there, sheesh. I don't even know what's going on in this world chat. It's been very, very uh, heavy on talking lately. Uh -huh. Good to see you. Ah, this charged debris is electrified with the forces of air magic. Storm Legion must have attacked a golden mall vessel off shore. The incursion of the dragon cults and the plunder of my people continues. Farewell. Oh, I guess there's uh, somebody over here I have to talk to. Okay. Ah, good to see you. This is exactly what we need, all of you. Strange. It appears that they plan on shipping our heritage across to Lara. We must have our property returned. It looks like there are four separate caches buried around Holbrook Shoals. Each contains priceless historic art objects sacred to the Cathali. They seem prepared for export to other markets in Talaria. Recover the shipments before we lose them forever, Cleric. Journey well. Is there any other quest down this way before I, uh... Doesn't look like it. Just want to double check. No, it looks like we're clear. It's just gonna be this one. Fair enough, fair enough. We can go ahead and do that then. Okay, the shipments will all be all over the place, I guess. Okay, it looks like the the shipments might be all around where these butcher NPCs are, so they might... I mean, they kind of are unique in that regard, then, if that's the case. Garbage shipment, got that one. Okay. Okay, the butcher is about to come right up on me here. I'm fairly certain the butchers are tied around the uh, supply caches. Second shipment here. Which one's this one? Scarlet Gorge. All right. Looks like it's kind of back here. 
Yep, there's another butcher. This time we got lucky though, he's not around it. Iron pine shipment. Alright. So all we have left is the stone field cache. Okay. There we are. Yep, yep. Okay. And perfect. Alright. And yeah, this does look like a minor air rift here. At least I think it's a minor one. Our heritage is returned. Thank you, Alavu. We take strength from our traditions, and with this history, we stand strong against the enemies of Talaria. If we are to protect our land against the dragon cults, we must restore our ancient defenses. Source stone beacons were placed off the coast many years ago, but have suffered from neglect. Dive into the waters north of the shoals and uncover these that have been buried. Best of luck. Oh, there's another quest down this way. To maintain our independence, we Cthulhu must honor the old ways. I hope with my mother's traditions by crafting various Cthulhu wares. But I've run out of materials. Would you mind braving the waters to the north and collecting some for me? Journey well. Alright, so yeah, they want us to basically, uh... Go swimming, pretty much. But we're going to go ahead and put that off for our next video, as we're about at an hour now. So I will see you guys next time, and we will continue our play, our going-ons through Shimmer Sand. So, see you then.